Do you want to learn music production? Do you want to make music like the pros? Get your membership today and start making your songs come true. You can start with only one euro in the first month. Become a premium or exclusive member and get access to exclusive videos about music production, sound design, mixing and mastering. And you will also have access to the tutorials project files. Get your membership today and start making music like the pros. Take your productions to the next level. You will learn how to take a production like this and make it sound like this. If you like our tutorials, you will love our premium and exclusive sections. Become a member today and make your sounds come true. Hi, my name is Tiago Duarte and welcome to another video tutorial here at Daily Beats. In today's video I have no idea what I'm going to do so I will open FL Studio, it's already open and I'm going to make a beat and let's see what uh, I can come up with. Probably you are watching this, you already have by the title an idea of what the result is but I currently do not. So let's go ahead and uh, let's start making the beat. Before we start, I would like to ask you to subscribe and activate the notifications so that you know when we upload new videos. And if you want to support us, con consider buying one of our products at dailybeats.pt. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and start making something here. So I will bring down the velocity. So maybe 87, it's okay, sounds good. And let's see what we have here. Hmm. Let me try to open Expand Tool. You probably see that I really use this Expand a lot because it has really nice, how can I say, really nice uh, sounds. So let's go with drums. Let's see what we have here, warm drums. Let me bring the bass note down. I like this, I like these sounds. Okay, so let's place it here. A basic drum loop. Let's copy this and bring this here to the side. So we have four bars. Okay, so now we can okay, do something like this. I want to add a little bit of swing here at the end. So what I'm going to do here, okay, I will put these ones here, these back-to-back -back kicks. I will lower them a little bit in terms of volume. I already did. I will select everything, clicking on Control and clicking on C and this selects all of our notes and since I'm going to use swing I want to do that because especially here these notes at the end since they are really close they w might not work correctly when when I uh, enable the um, sorry when I enable the swing so what I'm going to do is click alt to uh, get out of the grid system and I will just click and move this to the left, like so. So we have more space between each individual note and now I can bring up the swing. Okay, so let's bring this one here. Let's bring the volume a little bit up or even have it as it's normal.
Let me see if this sounds nice. Okay, I like it. So this one here, let's see, this is okay because we have a kick and a open hi-hat, but in this one here we do not have. So what I'm going to do is bring this hi-hat or open hi-hat and copy these ones here. So let's see if this sounds nice. We can also do something like this, two hi-hats or open hi-hats here. Let's select everything. Okay, so here we can do a very fast, not very fast, but more active hi-hat, uh, open hi-hats. Okay, so now let's find the crash. I don't like too much these crashes. Maybe this one here at the end. But this one has to be very high. So what I did was select the note and click Alt and uh, with the mouse wheel, you can bring the velocity up. Okay, so maybe this one here. Okay, sounds nice. Maybe this one here. Maybe, let me see, let me bring this one here. Okay, let's try this one like this. Okay, so we can bring this to the mixer already one thing that I like to do is to select uh, select this instrument here with this green outline and alt C and this duplicate will create a, a, a copy it's the same as going here and clone and here I will take everything here besides the kick and the snare control X and then here control S or control V actually. And now we have the drums here and the hi-hats here. So I can lower the hi-hats if I want. So this is drums and this is hi-hats, okay? So now let's go ahead and call again, expand to. I will try to find maybe a guitar. Okay, let's see what we have here. I like this. Very, very elongated note. Okay, so we are using helper scale C minor pentatonic like this. Okay, let's see if this sounds nice. Maybe lower it a little bit more. And here. Okay, or even go down. Let's see if this sounds nice. Okay, I like it. I'm going to always Usually my beats always go up, but now I want it to go down. So one thing that I'm going to do is to maybe bring the my my uh, mic a little bit closer because I'm checking here on my second screen the levels. And one thing that I'm going to do here is to add a limiter and bring the volume a little bit up so that you can listen better to the beat also to my voice so that my voice is not higher than usual than the, the beat itself so this is guitar let's see what else we can add here and this might might work this guitar might work as a bass also 
because it's already very low so let's see what we have here let's open up a soft lead let's see <laughs> this to the mix because it's too loud mixer okay I like this so let's see where we are see I will bring it all the way like this and then bring it something like try another one okay, I like this one so this is a bed let's go with another expand tool and let's maybe bring either strings or a piano so let's see Latin piano okay so this has a arpeggiator that I don't want scale okay so okay so maybe we can do this this accord or maybe we can go up here So one thing that I like is the, let's listen individually, so it has this delay and reverb, so what I'm going to do is check which one is the reverb, so this here effects 2 is lo-fi stereo delay and is what we have here effects 2, so what I'm going to do is bring up the volume. Okay, maybe like this okay I like it and now let's copy the the kick pattern so I think is here and here here and here so what I'm going to do is do something like this and let me check here in the last one so I'm, I'm, the piano will follow just the kick So let's copy this over to this side and now let's make here small changes like this and make it like let me make this ones here a little bit smaller and this ones here lower in volume I like this so what I want to try out is to apply a strum technique and to do that you can go here tools and strum but I prefer to use the keyboard shortcut which is alt s okay I like this so let's bring everything here to the mix channel 
it's already in the mixer so you you know what I mean when I say this when I say let's bring to the mix is the mix channel symbols okay so this is guitar this here is bed and here is piano okay so let's now bring here let's create a parallel reverb or auxiliary reverb and let's take this the mix from the master and just listen to oops just listen to the auxiliary reverb let's see I want to try out I don't know if I have it install it no I don't so what I'm going to do I'm going to use fruity convolver just to try out different kind of uh, environments so let's see this cathedral it's too big okay I like this let's bring the wet wet stereo separation here to the maximum not the maximum but very close and you can see if I take it off let me copy it first and reset you don't have a very spread effect so let's paste in again the effect and now let's bring fidelity Q and apply a high pass filter so that we can cut the, ba the bass notes of the mix and this will not interfere with the bass and the kick and everything else that, that's lower in the frequency range and you can see already a difference this makes it sound more, a little bit more natural we can even increase it a little bit Okay, so let's see here the limiter. Let's increase a little bit more. I want a little bit more gain and also a little bit of compression here. Okay, so what else? I'm thinking maybe a organ. So let's see. This is turning out a hard gangster rapid. So let's see organs here and let's go with rock let's start with the first one or no maybe let's start with the lower one and this is something that you might want to once in a while is that uh, to find out new presets in your instruments or your plugins instead of going usually at the top of a section or a sub menu like this i i like to go from the bottom up because i usually do from the top down so I select the first one and then click next 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 until I find one that I like but I usually or ra rarely I will go through the full list so what I like to do to give it a little bit more how can I say to discover more the sounds I sorry about this I like to select the last one and then move uh, backwards so let's see Okay, let's bring this root note here. Let's bring this to the mixer, lower it in terms of volume. so I was trying to find something that I liked so I I played some notes here in my keyboard and I liked what I what I played so I but I don't remember how to grab that data so what I usually or not grab but play it again so I was like jamming it and what you can do here is go to a new pattern go to tools dump score to selected pattern Okay, and now if we zoom out, you will see that we have here, we have the, maybe this part here, control X. Okay, let's bring pattern one, con piano roll, control V. Let's now adjust everything so that we can listen.
So I think I like this part here better. So what I'm going to do is to delete this part. Control A to select everything and I'll bring this part here. So let's listen. Okay, so it's not that great. So what I'm going to do is probably move this a little bit to the right. Let me see if this sounds nice like this. Let me see, let me bring the piano a little bit up. So one thing that I want to do is Alt Q to quantize. And let's accept this. This is at 90%, it's okay. It's a nice number. And let's see now what we can do here. Okay, so there are a lot of notes here that I don't feel they are Let me control L to expand all the nodes to the boundaries of the next one. Okay, so maybe something like this. Let's see. is going down so what I'm going to do is copy this move up and okay let me cut this let's try another one nice so this is organ Okay, so now we have everything. I like this, the way this is this sounds. Maybe we can do something so that the notes do not... Let me control L everything now. So that the notes... The, it does not have a very big jump, so it's better to have a more smooth drop, let's say. So now I have everything named. I have everything here in my uh, mixer. So I will go here to Patterns, Split by Channel. And now we have everything here except this Pattern 7 which contains just uh, the dump from my MIDI keyboard or my keyboard. So what, what we can do here is start bringing everything up to the, not up, into the timeline. Okay, so we can close the browser and let's select everything shift and move to the to the right and uh, okay so we will have this will be the the verse like this and this will be the chorus and now let's try work with the intro so let's see maybe we can do something like this so i'm just trying to find maybe no pad maybe the pad will only get here at this part let's see with the guitar and the, the drums okay i like it go to bar mode so that I can do a better selection so let's see now with the pad let's take out the hi-hats and now let's bring the piano okay and now we have the big part which is the chorus with the organ and everything basically oops I 
I don't know if this organ... Uh, I think it sounds nice, but... We could extend the notes better. Uh, not better, it's not what I want to say. We could extend the notes and maybe have it more something like, like this and then going up and then going down. I don't know. Let's see. We'll, because this organ here, I like it, but mm, I'm not sure about it. So we can, oops, we can do something like this. And here for the chorus, we can try out a new version of the organ. So let's see. Make unique. Let's extend this one here. And uh, let's delete this part. I want to keep the this drop down because I liked it. So let's see. Moving up like this. And maybe we could do something like this. Let's see. This sounds nice. It's okay. We can have this organ part for the second verse or the beginning of the second verse, something like this. To make a, a, break, a different break. Let's say. Okay, so we have here two two chorus, here and here, and then we have two verses. So it's already more complete composition. And as you can see, we can take stuff out, we can put stuff in. Maybe here in this part, so that it's not the same as the other one. We can do something like this and bring the hi hats again. So let's see. we could do a second part here or a third verse we could do a, a bridge and then go to the final chorus but uh, I leave that to you and if you want these project files you can uh, subscribe becoming a premium uh, exclusive member it's only 10 euros per month and you will have access to everything all the tutorials that we do here and also to the um, premium videos where I show you how to mix this beat or all the tutorials and master them also okay so this is it guys uh, I hope you enjoyed this video I hope it was helpful and uh, as you can see we tur turned out we did a gangster hard rap beat and uh, yeah that's it guys if you are new here to this channel, consider subscribing and activate the notification so that you know when we upload new videos. And if you like to support us, consider buying one, uh, one of our products at dailybeats.pt or becoming a premium or exclusive member. And uh, that's it, guys. I will have all the links in the description. Oops. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.